So as the last talk before we can all head to lunch, <laughs> ICG um, in geographic atrophy and stargate disease. And really, why does this matter? Because on paper, these are two very different diseases. Stargardt is a most common inherited retinal dystrophy, but it starts very young. Typically, patients have less, uh, start at less than 20 years old. There is a Mendelian transmission of the mutation in the ABCA4 gene, which has been identified as the responsible gene for Stargardt. And uh, there is an increased production of A2E with progressive loss of RPE and photoreceptors. Geographic atrophy in AMD is a, can be of acquired etiology. The progression is multifactorial. Typically, patients have more than 50 years old. Uh, and the RP damage constitutes the initial event. And then there is RP loss, which can be due to photooxidative stress, vascular alteration, or the um, to accumulation of toxic, toxic, toxic lipofuscin material under the RPE. So overall, there seem to be a common pathway at the end, but there seem to be, normally this should be two fairly different situations. So, Whilst probably it's fairly easy to diagnose this 35-year-old patient as having Stargardt, it is a little bit more tricky when a 65-year-old patient shows up in your office like this with an undefined history of generic difficulties in vision over the past 10 years, and he has other morbidities, and it's, it's, things are not very clear. So. Uh, in reality, the, um, diagnostic, uh, the, 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 the differential diagnosis criteria have been described very well by the Giovanni Starrenghi group, um, who, based on multimodal imaging, have come up with this term of dark atrophy that clearly identifies the, the, the situation. So what can we see is that whilst on autofluorescence imaging, both uh, Stargardt and geographic atrophy presents as a com dark, uh, complete hypoautofluorescent uh, lesions. When we do ICG, the mid-phase uh, ICG of a Stargardt patient uh, presents these hypochanescent areas that becomes even more hypochanescent on late phases, whereas a geographic atrophy patient has this um, uh, isochanescent that becomes hyperchanescent lesion in the late phase. So dark atrophy it is. If you do an ICG, you see dark atrophy, it's Stargardt. End of story? Well, not really, <laughs> in the sense that does this happen all the time? There is some overlap. In their paper, they describe this is a 17-year-old uh, patient that uh, does not have dark atrophy in mid or late phase. Um, and the OCT shows well the atrophy of the RPE uh, with some uh, deposits, but um, when we look at the thickness of the choroid, the thickness of the choroid is still quite normal in this patient. And on the opposite hand, they had this 86-year-old patient in which the geographic, uh, the, the central geographic area um, atrophy area behaved differently on ICGA within the same area. So there is an area of hypochanescence, uh, and uh, so dark atrophy, and an area of isochanescence, so no dark atrophy. And when we go on the OCT, what they, really, what they showed is that this boils down to the thickness of the choroid. In other words, if the choroid is very thin, then there is dark atrophy. If the choroid is normal, there is no dark atrophy. They have taken the study a little further and they have done an OCT angiography study of these, uh, of these uh, patients and they have shown, um, they have confirmed the, the previous findings. They have shown uh, that, um, sorry, on, and they have also shown that in, within the, ge the, the margin at the edges of the, uh, of the areas of atrophy in the Stargardt patients, 
they were these areas of uh, lobulated um, uh, maintenance of choriocapillaries. And this has not been shown in uh, geographic atrophy. So this is a sign that is typical of um, Stargardt patients and is absent in geographic atrophy. The idea is basically that or at least the hypothesis that is going at the moment and maybe the further um, OCT and geography studies on uh, average choriocapillaries will prove this otherwise, but at the moment uh, the going hypothesis is that whereas in Stargardt patients um, the, there is a complete lack of photoreceptors and as a result of RP, sorry, and as a result the Sattler and Halleleia die off uh, and, and therefore you get complete atrophy uh, and, and complete atrophy of the chorocapillaries. This doesn't happen to the same extent in geographic atrophy and therefore you, because you maintain some isolated RPE cells that still requires some metabolic uh, demand and therefore the chorocapillaries is not completely atrophy. atrophied um, overall. So overall, whilst a, a case like this might be easy to diagnose, but then she's 35 year old. So when we do uh, the OCT angio of this patient, she still has some choriocapillaris, is not completely gone. But again, you don't necessarily need any either ICG or uh, or OCT angiography to diagnose this patient as having Stargardt. But in this case, uh, where the patient shows up in this condition, when you do the OCT angio, you can see that the chorocapillaris is completely gone. So although it doesn't look like it, this patient is likely having Stargardt, um, albeit with a presentation that was later on, as, as a later onset in life and maybe not diagnosed as, uh, as quickly. And that's it. Thank you very much.